way of the sword. Arm yourself with knowledge, and nothing can stop you. But Over the years, Nintendo platforms have had plenty of famous swords. The Master Sword, the Narpa Sword, the Swordfish in Donkey Kong Country, all far better blades than this one. This is Swords for the Nintendo Wii, aptly named because the entire game revolves around one-on-one -on -one sword fights. Perhaps fittingly, the game itself is every bit as concise and unexciting as its one noun title. Prepare yourself! Swords should feel pretty familiar to seasoned gamers. Uh, in terms of its core design, it's a lot like the 1991 Neo Geo game Crossed Swords, crossed with Nintendo's classic Punch-Out games. You clash steel with a series of eight swordsmen across battles staged very much like Punch-Out fights. Only in Swords, the gloves are off and the scimitars are swinging. Poorly, that is. They're swinging poorly. See, although Swords uses the Motion Plus accessory, the controls never feel overwhelmingly precise. You can attack your opponent by slicing in seven directions with the remote. East to west, north to south, but not south to north, and the diagonals. But the problem is that Swords is far from flawless at interpreting your motions, even with the Motion Plus accessory. So most of the time, it just feels like waggle. What's worse is that the combat is focused on defense and counterattacks. Opponents block virtually every swipe you take, unless you block them first. So Swords becomes a slow-paced game of block and parry. Unfortunately, you can only counter after a perfect block, which can only be done by twisting the Wii Remote perfectly perpendicular to an oncoming attack. Yeah, good luck with that. Had the controls been better, Swords might have been better served by its defense-oriented approach, but as they are, well, it just isn't. Basically, if you come to Swords expecting a fleshed-out version of the Kendo game from Wii Sports Resort, you're gonna be disappointed. This just isn't the kind of precise, motion-based sword fighting game you might think, despite what the presence of Sir Lancelot may otherwise imply. Fortunately, Lancelot is one of your eight opponents in Swords, uh, along with a Viking, a Pirate, an Oriental Femme Fatale, and a few other standard characters randomly thrown together without much thought. Now, Swords does try to justify its arbitrary enemies by alleging your character can travel through time and space when seeking out opponents, but that seems more like a disguise for having no theme than a theme itself. And yes, there are only eight battles in Swords, with a few mini-games sprinkled in between. The game lasts roughly an hour or two from start to finish, and because its defense-oriented approach doesn't exactly translate well to multiplayer, Swords 2-player mode doesn't add much time to the total. It may sound cheap to say, but this game is what it is an inexpensive release from the same team behind Wii games like Go Play Lumberjacks and We Wish You a Merry Christmas. Now, the problem is, cheap though it may be, it still costs you $30 and only lasts you about an hour. You're essentially paying 50 cents a minute for swords, none of which are going to be especially sharp. As a WiiWare release, the verdict might have been different, but as a retail game priced about three times higher than it should be, well, this is one blade you should keep in the sheath. By passing this test, you have earned another blade. This sword is retribution, both in name and power.